morning, guys. Uh, we are starting the morning at Canical Koi Farm over here. Today we're gonna do a daily vlog where we just show you what a day in the life is like with koi trips and Fitz fish ponds. So let's head inside and we'll show you what Kaneko has today. Maybe we are gonna get some Nisai and look at some Sansai, but one of my favorite Kujaku and Shiro Atsuri breeders. So let's head in. Koi Farm, we're gonna bowl up the number one shear at Surrey. I think it's great. The whole lot. Leaving Kaneko, and now we're going to be off to somewhere else, and hopefully find a good coin and rub the lucky Irishman's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's a valid. <laughs> we have a nice stop here, both of some really nice shiros, a nice Kajaku. He's promised me and Tim Tancho Kajaku yeah. next month. Tancho shiros, maybe next year. <laughs> he said he tries every year and the Tancho just disappears, but it's all fun. So uh, on to the next stop. Let's do it. Koi trip. Now we are at our second stop of the day, Marasada Koi Farm. He breeds Pancho Showa. This is a nice place on the side of a mountain. And uh, it's a really cool uh, koi poster here that has Tim in it <laughs> and me. All right, guys, we're bowling up my Azukari Koi here at Marasada. Number one Sansai, I hope. Wow. 62 cm now. 62 cm. Nice work. All right, guys, we just bought this whole pond, the Tancho Showa, Ginrin Shiro Tsuri, and Showa from our good friend at Marisada. All these are going to be coming to the UK, Ireland, and UK. New Jersey. New Jersey. This is not your own toy house here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, Koi Trips. This is our usual lunch stop, Shinto Koi Farm. It's the family home. And every day we come out here, we eat a nice homemade meal made by uh, Hiromi, Shinto's wife, Kosuke and Kensei's mom, and it is fabulous. Ryan's going over there to jack a Coke out of the outside fridge. It's frowned upon, but he does it every day. Can you get me one? Can you get me one? All the heating oil sponsored here by Fitz Fish Ponds. MTV Cribs, welcome to my house. <laughs> Go you, Go you, uh, <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished lunch, and now we are headed to Ikarashi Ozumi, about a 30 minute ride away. We got Ryan on the wheel, we got Kevin in the back, Joe and AJ. It's gonna be a good day, beautiful weather. It's my first day off from driving. But We'll put the camera around and give you a little scenic, scenic route, what we see every, every day here with coin trips. All right, here we are, Ikarashi Ozumi, he breeds koi. And uh, really nice post out, we get a whole bunch every year. About 10,000 pieces, Yamabuki, Ginrin Yamabuki, Benny Kumamaru, Kumamaru, Goshiki, a lot of Ginrin, weird and wonderful stuff, but we really like his koi. And, uh, Let's go inside so we can buy them all.
All right, guys, back over at Ikarashi. Mark is going on some food. AJ's over here on the phone selling fish like always. Getting after it. There's the boss, man. And we got Ryan attacking the Nisai pond. Got some really nice Benny Coomin or that we'll post videos of. All right, guys, so we're just finished up. We got a whole bunch of koi from Ikarashi. Now this is his new koi house. We were here last year with just a concrete pad, but we'll give you a quick tour. He has this photo booth here. I guess he was taking pictures of the auction, but nice way to photograph some koi. Ryan, give us the tour. Come on in. All right. I'm gonna go up the stairs here. Oh, wow. Looks like we got Tosai in here, freshly harvested. Kumanu, Benny Kumanu, Ghosty. Brand new, this year. Yeah. Thanks, Pons. And now I'm just going to pop into the other Tosai facility. We got a lot of Tosai from Ikarashi, so we'll check it out. So down here is the other Tosai facility at Ikarashi. And there's so many koi. This is his Nisai category that he's hiding from us. Pancho Benny Pino. Really nice stuff in here. Pretty sure that's it for Ikarashi. And uh, on to the next spot. We're going to one of our favorite breeders Kase right after this. So got a 15 minute ride from Ikarashi and we'll head over to Koseiji Kase. Mark, what do you think? Got some good koi? Very nice, very nice stuff. What do you think about Koi Trips USA? Probably better than that, Koi Trips UK. Yeah. <laughs> Always good to have you on a trip, Mark. <laughs> All right, guys, we are arriving to Kase. So got koi in the mud ponds here. Yep. East side. Oh, good. The father and son, they're home. All right, guys, they were rolling some knee side sansai over there. But I'm going to check out the Tosai house. And it's a little bit cold outside. I know the Tosai house is always warm, so we'll have a look at them. Really good stuff. Looks like he has some of his category already sorted out. A little bit bigger stuff. Oh, uh, Showa. His palms are empty. Probably waiting for some selection. Another empty pond. Really good toe side facility he has here. All right, let's hop back to the other side, see what the guys are up to.
All right, guys, we just bought three really nice Sansai from Kosiji. So we got really good buy on two Koi Showas and one Tancho Showa. Guys, this is just a day in the life with Koi Trip. So if you're feeling like that little fear of missing out, what we're doing right now, give us a call, book a trip, or we'll FaceTime you while we're out here, show you some beautiful Koi, and get you on some of the best fish in the world. All right, guys, just had a quick stop at Harrison Koi Farm. We bought a lot of Seaside Nisa from last year. Have a look at some of these beautiful Yamabuki and Kimatsu we have here in Menchagoi. Uh, we were just on our way over to Marasaka Koi Farm. So we figured pop in here and get a look at some nice koi. And now we'll run over there and get started by the bowl that Mark got. All these koi are headed over to Ireland. All right. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. Awesome. All right, we just pulled into Marasaka. Uh, he's out harvesting some bud ponds right now. We had to come back a little bit later, but really cool metallic Deutz Koi. I saw some really nice Kim Kit Suris in there. And uh, hopefully back a little bit after with some new Koi. We'll pull them up. Now we're gonna head over to Marase. Just pulled up this fish for a customer. Beautiful Kim Dad show up. Decided to bring this back home to America. What do you think, Steve? Superb example. I'd be well blessed if I could have this in my phone. Beautiful. All right, guys, sorry. I got to Marise and I just got excited. I ran right inside to the Koi house. We're bowling up a few Koi for some of Kim's customers. We just got a beautiful Kim Dai show out of this pond. We put it into our tank over there. But I just uh, saw a huge body kahaku, it just caught my eye. So we're gonna ball it up, get a video of it, and try to sell it. Guys, we are at Marseille, trying to find the biggest chagoy for best price. All right, quick stop from Marseille. Both of you really nice koi for some customers. We just bought a, gin, a nice chagoy for ourselves. And um, I'm back to Marisaka now he's home, but we're here almost every day. So this is a, always a good stop on uh, Koi trips. All right, guys, back here to Marisaka Koi Farm. And uh, we are bowling up some Nisai. Mark, what do you think? Very nice fish. Yeah. Very nice. Ryan's picking some Green Brook Store Koi. Just a day with Koi trips. Really cool to see like a, a yellow and white scale fish with nice skin ring on it. I haven't seen any other uh, any other farm. So super cool.
All right, guys, a little detour on koi trips right now. We are heading up to the Shito Shrine. All right, guys, so we just arrived to the shrine. You know, I've driven past this shrine maybe 20 times and I never decided to go look at it. So hopped out of the car. Just a cool little, really cool building here. AJ's running. Koi trips never disappoints. A little bit of a sunset going on and we are at the shrine. Good driving, Ryan, nice find. All right, guys, final stop of the day, Shinoda Koi Farm. We got some great heat, sir. We bought a whole bunch already. Bought a really nice Gideon Showa. Just having a look at some newly harvested koi. Really nice stuff. And uh, maybe we'll pick up some fish. Oh, the big koi have arrived, the big koi. So guys, that's a wrap. It's 5 p.m. The lights are on in the koi house and we're gonna call it a day with koi trips. I'm tired, we've hit 10 different breeders today on a ton of really good koi. And now we have a nice dinner with the Shintaro family. So it's a wrap for the koi breeders looking at koi today. All right, guys, heading in the car, back to the new Otani. And um, we will see you at dinner.